My name is Josh Podal and my company is Chopwood Company. This is a custom sofa that I built for Katie Martinez, an interior designer in San Francisco. And right now I'm actually cutting the equivalent of this on the back. The mortise right here is actually the, the one that appears right in the center back, it's going to be right there. Mm -hmm. So these are going to be visible from the back of this sofa. Just to show the way that this tenon sits in the mortise, you'll be able to see it from one side, a little mm -hmm. reveal, which I think is sort of cool looking. Um, Right on the money. It's a part, but I'm pretty sure. There we go. <laughs> and it's it's in there. That's that's in there. And you know, we were able to incorporate the Sheeper origin into several parts of the process. We used it to um, create the mortises here. We used it to create these um, rounded shapes that um, create the rounded line of this uh, back support right here, like that, and also to make the 90 degree angles of the curves. We just took um, one and a half inch thick um, white oak stock and laid it out just like this and I cut a whole bunch of them at a time. I took very shallow passes. I think I did like um, like an eighth of an inch at a time as I got to the deeper, and I also did the finishing pass at 0 .01 inch, and that was great, and they came out super clean. I mean, there's almost no sanding that's necessary. I used dominoes. These are the 14 millimeter dominoes. Um, they're all, I think they're 100 millimeters in length, these ones. So they go into the wood here, I think 30 millimeters, and then they have a 70 millimeter extension into the main part. And I'm using these guys here, and I'm doing um, some drawboard tenons. So I'm setting the whole back 1 32nd of an inch so that they snug up really tight. There's no uh, clamping necessary, which is so cool. Um, I've set up a lot of jigs, and you know, you have to make everything per, for each project, individual jigs. It takes a lot of time, and this was just like, seriously, I just sat down, I made the little file in Illustrator, and just went and did it in, in about an hour, had all four of them cut, and actually made four extras for another project. And you can see that it just created a really clean connection there, that just totally square. Um, so I feel really confident that it's gonna be really stable. This is a really fun build and um, I hope to sort of incorporate Shaper Origin again into different projects, so.